In this Photoshop CS6 tutorial, we're going to practice creating a shiny button. We went to File New and we chose 6 inches by 2 inches, 72 pixels per inch, and we make the background transparent. Click OK. So now we have a checkered background, which means it's transparent. And I'm going to begin by choosing a rounded rectangle shape. So if you right click over one of these shapes, you should be able to choose the second option, which is the rounded rectangle tool. And notice how we have a fill color. We're in the shape mode, not the path mode, which only does the outline. We want the shape. We have a fill color of gray and we have a, a no stroke color. So this red line means there is a no stroke, it's, it's invisible, whereas these other colors would add a nice stroke around it. And we choose a, <clears throat> a radius, a radius setting of 60 pixels. And the larger your radius setting, the more rounded this corner is. You can see this is kind of extreme in terms of rounding. You could think of radius as the radius of a circle if there was a if there was a circle there. Let me press Ctrl Alt Z and change the radius setting to say 30 pixels, 30 px. I'm gonna drag the corner and you can see it's not quite as rounded and this is probably a bit nicer. So what we have here is a nice gray shape with rounded rectangles and this is going to be the outline of our button. Next, let's control click on this layer. Control click right where you see this icon. Notice how we're selecting the outside part of the button. You see that little shiny selection marquee kind of uh, animation going on. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually we're going to shrink down this uh, the size of the selection. So we're going to go to select modify, contract. And let's contract it down by just say three pixels. So we're purposefully making the actual selection a bit smaller by a few pixels. Now this is an interesting technique I'm about to describe here. Notice how we, we choose the selection tool. This is the uh, rectangular marquee tool, or you press M, the marquee tool. Notice how if, you, if I actually hold down the Alt button, you, if you hold down the Alt button, you get a minus sign beside the uh, beside uh, the mouse cursor. Whereas if you hold down the Shift button, you see a plus sign. So we want to hold down the actual minus sign, and by holding down the minus sign, we can actually click around maybe 75% up, maybe 70% up, click and drag it. So whatever selection we choose, it's going to subtract it from what we had before. So let go. So we essentially subtracted the uh, the selection such that we only have this much left. It's good to know the Alt and the Shift button there. A very interesting technique that can be used for many applications. So now that we have this region selected, I'm going to add a nice shine to the top. So what we'll do here is we'll go to the right click, the paint bucket or gradient tool. We're going to choose the gradient tool here. And the gradient tool, we're going to make sure we have the color white as the foreground color. Hit the drop down box and choose the second option. Because we chose white as a foreground color, we have foreground to transparent. The second box here in the drop down option is always the foreground color to transparent. So this is exactly what we want. Double click, pow pow. So now you can see I'm about to add this um, this nice gradient here, but I see there's a there's a little icon here saying I can't do that. You can't actually add a gradient to the actual uh, shape. So therefore, I'll create a new layer. And now you can see you can drag out a gradient. And this gradient is not exactly straight, so I'm going to press Control Alt Z to undo that. I'm going to actually hold down the Shift button to make it straight. So click at the top line here and roughly down to the bottom line here. Let go. Oops, let's try that again. So hold down shift, let go of the actual left mouse button first, and then let go of the shift button. And you should be able to create a nice shiny gradient here. When you go to select, deselect, you can get rid of the shine or control D and lo and behold, we have a shiny button. 
So I'm going to rename this layer. I'm going to call this Top White Shine. And I'm going to double click this layer. I'll call this Gray um, Button. You may even want to add some more details like some strokes or perhaps let's finish off this tutorial with a nice shadow. Let me make the camera size just a little bit larger so we don't accidentally cut out the shadow. I'll just go uh, width 6.5, height 2.5 inches for the canvas size. It pushes out the image a bit larger. Let me double click this gray button layer and add a nice drop shadow. So you can see there's a nice drop shadow there and click on OK. Finally, let me just add some text here. The text tool is the letter T and we'll just uh, drag out the text this large and type in shine and as we drag out the text to a very large you can center it using the center button there at the top you can even press V or click on the, the, this uh, first tool which is the move tool and you can see that we have a nice shine text here I'm using a uh, a font called Bebas News, a pretty font from thefont.com. I'm going to change the font color up here from white to black. So there we go. Just click on the, the actual move tool and everything looks beautiful and, and we've created a nice shiny button.